Hi, I'm Leah, and today we're going to talk about IT automation in a hybrid cloud world. With me today, I have Tom Durrett, Director of Cloud Solutions Architect. Tom, when customers are deploying applications in the cloud, what's the best approach for them in cloud ready or cloud native? Yeah, Leah, let's, let's start by talking a little bit about the difference between a monolithic server and a microservice-based server, which is more modern. Um, so with, with a monolithic server, think of it as um, a single uh, server instance that has multiple tiers inside of it, and, and starting with maybe a web app tier, and then maybe an application layer tier, and then maybe a back-end database type tier. But it's all in the same physical uh, hardware appliance or virtual machine. And what we're seeing is that um, to migrate away from that to add agility and maybe elasticity, um, we're seeing that a microservice-based type uh, deployment would be more like dividing that out into separate um, instances or tiers um, where I have maybe the web tier here and then the application tier and then the database tier. Uh, is separate. And then we're lo they're looking for uh, agility and elasticity there. So that would be in deployed in something that scales out where they can have multiple of them um, and maybe even scale beyond that. Um, so the problem here is, is how do I get uh, consistent con connectivity between them? This tier needs to talk to the tier below, et cetera, and they're all uh, changing in, in, in size and scale. Uh, so what you typically see is uh, a basic layer four load balancer deployed between them. Uh, but there'll be one for each of the tiers, and they're not centrally managed. So, so with that, let me introduce the, the Lightning ADC solution that A A10 has. So um, if I deploy a cloud native uh, ADC to match the deployment of the cloud native microservice application, um, these are called Lightning ADCs, or LADC. Um, and they're connected uh, into each of these tiers and have knowledge about the scalability of each of these tiers and, and uh, communicate with them to make sure that they're fully aware of uh, uh, how each tier, tier, tier is scaling. Um, these um, ADCs are connected to uh, a separate instance, and this is where uh, the A10 Lightning slash Harmony product is really different because the controller and the data plane are separate. So these are really just data plane instances, and they're connected up into um, a controller. We call it the Harmony controller. Which connects here? Which connects into the ADCs um, for configuration and, and also receives uh, analytic type information, which can show you on a single plane of glass uh, what's happening at each of these tiers for each application. Um, so really helpful for troubleshooting if there's a problem uh, between the tiers where you wouldn't have the visibility uh, for that in, in this monolithic type uh, deployment. So this is a providing a fully uh, multi-service plus a, a multi-scale and, and functionality uh, deployment for um, this type, type of deployment of uh, more modern uh, application deployment that would be typically found in, in a cloud. And automating the process. Absolutely. Tom, what about existing non-cloud applications in a traditional world? Are they typically migrated to the cloud? Sure, Leah, and, and when we talk about a traditional world, we're, we're normally talking about these monolithic type servers that are in a, a, a data center um, and maybe have been deployed uh, quite some time ago. So let's just um, call this the, the data center, and then this is the cloud, um, where you typically see monolithic servers in the data center and uh, more agile microservice application deployments in, in a cloud. Um, so here, uh, typically in front of this web server, you might have uh, a failover scenario where you have more than one of them. Um, and so you'd have uh, an ADC, uh, and typically it's appliance-based as well, uh, in front of it. So an ADC or a load balancer here. Um, so what, what we've actually done with the Harmony controller is made it so that you can connect into that ADC as well um, and send analytics and also send uh, configuration. So really the, the Harmony controller is centralizing the traditional world and the cloud world together, which makes it very easy for uh, the migration of applications and s uh, specific use cases around uh, disaster recovery or bursting to the cloud if this application can't handle a scale, et cetera, where you have the flexibility here. So yeah, we, we are really seeing uh, this uh, happening in a lot of our customers where they want to move to the agility of having uh, a cloud-based solution uh, from their traditional world of monolithic servers. 
And this can also be in virtual as well? Absolutely. So this is just a, a, a traditional data center ADC. Um, it does have the, the data plane and the control plane built into that because that's um, how things were deployed in the past. But we can still manage and, and see, see analytics and get visibility into what's happening with them in a central location. Well, thanks so much, Tom, and thanks for the great visual representation. You're welcome, Leah. And thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.